Hard use folding knives are something that I don't think gets enough exposure in the EDC community, but it's something that you're definitely going to, well, use. Some blades are a little bit too thin and are maybe a little bit too thin behind the edge for you to be really bearing down on and doing some extra hard work. So let's go ahead and check out what I think are four knives that are hard use knives that you may not have heard of. My name is Brad and welcome back to Scream and Pirate EDC. So the four knives I have for you today, we're gonna take a look at top down, but really quick gonna show them to you while we're up here. So first is going to be the Mech Force Alpha Hunter. And then we have the Dead Reckon Ridgeback. The Rosie's Rippers Reaper. And then finally, the one you probably have heard of, this is gonna be the Chavez RCK9. So those are the four that we're taking a look at. Let's do some size comparisons and some specs and head top down. All right, guys. So we're top down. And the reason I'm doing this top down is, like I said, there are going to be four knives that are hard use knives that you may not know of. The first one you probably do, but I got to give it a shout out. This is going to be the Chavez RCKS, I believe is the RCKS. And it's just a phenomenal knife. And I really actually like the flat grind out here. I like that it's actually not a hollow grind. I know I never say it. I know it's a more basic blade shape, but in a large glove, yeah, it fits damn near perfect in hand, but it's still that typical Chavez, you know, thickness. So you have a robust folder, really smooth, reverse flick, whatever you may like. It is on the smaller side for most, quote, hard use knives for most people, but I wanted to show it first and I want to show it next to some of my other comparisons in case you don't have this one. So up first, the most logical one is going to be the Chavez Kickstop. I think this makes the most sense next to it. As you can see, the Kickstop absolutely dwarfs it, but I still really like it in hand. Another one that is very common in the hard use section, if you bring it up online, is going to be the 0562. This is the Micarta variation. Once again, bigger, but I'm going to line those pivots up. Not that much bigger in the handle. That's something very important there. After that, let's go ahead and grab what is in the same conversation as no 0562. It's going to be the Hinderer XM18. And then finally, another big one in the hard use conversation has got to be the Spartan Harzi. So there you go, next to all one another, really, really good in hand. I really like the RCK9 for, I would say, I'm not going to say light duty, because you can do some heavy duty work with it, especially with how robust, oh, come on, focus up, with how robust this tip is. Yeah, see, nice robust tip there. Really not going to snap if you need to use it. Obviously, don't pry with your knives, but if you have to kind of get in there and say poke and then kind of wiggle and then slice, yeah, this is going to work very well. Nice behind the edge. Yeah, big, big fan, and I love the smelling pattern. I think these are all gone, but I know the non-milling pattern is available on multiple websites. So that is the RCK9. This is the first one in the hard use folders that I think you should be checking out. Up next is going to be one that I have talked about, but there's not much out there on it. This is going to be the Dead Reckon Knives Ridgeback. Now this one is particularly interesting. I did a one minute review if you haven't seen it yet, but they are using rolling bearings in here with a button lock. But the reason they're doing the roller bearings so they can slide them in is because this is an integral, solid piece of titanium. Everything here is made and sourced in the U.S. They're trying to do it all Ohio made where they are located, but I really like to see a full USA integral. Really nice. Now, a few notes I do have about this before I show some comparisons. I would love some stair step jumping in here, but I would really love some jumping right there on the flipper tab. There just isn't any, and it kind of drives me nuts sometimes. But... Overall, really smooth. Another thing to note, because of the roller bearings, what is happening here, and I'll show it up close, that pivot rotates. And because it rotates, when you squeeze this button lock, your finger cannot be here on the pivot. If it is, 
See how I'm stopping it? Whereas if I'm off the pivot, drops nice and smooth. So that is something to note on the Dead Reckon knives. So let's do some size comparisons. First up, we have obviously the 0562 on the top, XM18 on the bottom. Very similar in overall handle compared to these two. I do wish there was a little bit more blade here because the blade handle is a little bit off for me, but that is not a big deal. After that, let's bring out that Chavez Kickstop and the Spartan Harzi so you can see those next to the Ridgeback. So there's your Harzi, and there is your Kickstop. Overall, really nice. You're getting this beautiful flat grind that's going to be a consistent thing here for me, guys, with a work knife. I like having a flat grind so I can really get out there and do some extra work. And yeah, really, really nice knife from Dead Reckon. Now, these next two, I can, I can promise that unless you follow my Instagram, you have not seen these. First up is going to be the Rosie's Rippers Reaper. Now, this bad boy is very, very cool. All USA made parts. I would call it a custom mid-tech because all the hardware is sourced from the US, but the blade is heat treated and ground in house, which is really, really cool. And it's all one guy. I really love the hollow grind here, but you do get this beautiful flat out here as well. Really nice. You can get different color hardware, and this thing is a beast in hand. Really thick, really nice. Can definitely put in some nice work with it. I love how far out the jumping extends out here. So it's not just like my thumbs here. I can extend it all the way out. And the reverse flick is fantastic on this one. Really a fan. So let's go ahead and do some quick size comparisons. Next to the Chavez Kickstop. There you go, basically the same size as the Kickstop, kind of crazy. And then we also have the Spartan Harzi. There we go on top. And then up next, let's have our pair of Hinderers, the 0562 and the XM18. So actually a little bit bigger than both of these, very interesting, but if you like the style and you like having the finger scallops there and you can really get a good grip, the Reaper is definitely one to check out. So there's going to be one final one. And I want to show this next to the Reaper purely because I really like the difference between them. But also there's going to be a comparison video for these guys. This is the MechForce Alpha Hunter Apocalypse. Now, this is a collaboration between MechForce and Alpha Hunter. But look at that size and look at those blades, guys. Very, very similar, and honestly, similar in pocket. I really don't notice them that much. If I'm putting my hand on top of this, I really can't tell. I'll hold up the thickness for you guys. Yeah. Obviously, you're thicker on the Alpha Hunter, but it's really hard to tell in pocket. I love the Tanto here for a hard-use knife. It is a personal preference. I do know that. Very cool next to each other. This is a mix of U.S. parts and Chinese parts or overseas parts. But they are assembled in the U.S. is my uh, understanding. I wanted you guys to see that next to the Reaper. But let's do it next to the other size comparisons we have here on the table. Here it is next to the 0562. And here it is next to the XM18. Actually very similar, more than you might think. And then finally, let's go ahead and bring out the Chavez and the Spartan. So here it is next to the Spartan Harzi which I feel like just dwarfs so many knives. And here it is next to the Kickstop. So there you go, all of the knives in the lineup that I think are hard use knives that you need to see if that's your, you know, your thing. Now let's go ahead and bring out all four so you can see all four next to each other. So we're gonna have the uh, Chinese slash Chinese parts in the middle and then we're gonna have the American ones on top and bottom. So you have your Dead Reckon, you have your Mech Force, there's the Chavez, and here is the Rosie's Rippers Reaper down at the bottom. Let me go ahead and scooch him up. You can barely see him, guys. 
But these are the four knives that I think you should definitely be checking out if you like hard use folders. And hopefully I showed you one you haven't seen. Well, until the next time, I hope you have a great day and I'll catch you on the next one.